My name is Katherine Maslenikov. I'm the collections manager here for the University of Washington Fish Collection. Uh, this section here, this is kind of the most primitive of living fishes, uh, like hagfishes and lampreys, and then we move into our shark skates and rays. We've got some fun things here, like the cat sharks. There's a good diversity of cat sharks in our area. This is a spiny dogfish called spiny because of these nice big spines that are on the dorsal fins here. These are really common throughout Puget Sound, throughout the North Pacific. Not a huge shark, maybe four or five feet. This is a baby six gill shark. The female was dying and she stranded herself and 87 pups were born on the beach. And this one's called a six gill shark because it actually has six gills. So we've got our um, great white shark jaws here. This is from a shark that was captured in 1950 in Willapa Harbor, and it was in a, a salmon gill net. So they were quite surprised. They're out looking for salmon, and up comes this gigantic 14-foot great white shark. <laughs> Want to look at our two-headed shark? This is the spiny dogfish, uh, but it is two-headed. It's basically just a conjoined twin. This is our beautiful leopard shark. This one is a male, so they have typically these five soft gill slits along here. Little tiny teeth for crushing up little invertebrates and things. They get a little bit bigger than this, but they're not a very large shark. We store all of our specimens in 70% ethyl alcohol. We always think in terms of hundreds of years. There are still specimens that Linnaeus put in jars in the 1700s that are still in good condition. They do pass through a 10% formalin solution, which is how we fix the tissues and keep them in their a lifelike, bendable condition. And we absolutely want researchers to come use the specimens here, take them out of the jars, look at them, examine them, and, and learn whatever it is that they're wanting to learn.